Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Sundays at Tiffany's. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany Beeson from Beauty and the Beastons and every Sunday I upload a motivating video to get rid of the Sunday scaries and just to get you ready for the week ahead. Today's video is one of my favorite videos to make and some of my favorite videos to watch and that is easy crock pot meals. And all of my recipes in today's video are very healthy, they are affordable, and they are delicious. Today's video is also gonna be a collaboration with Kelly from Kelly's Corner. If you haven't heard of her, make sure you check out her channel. She does tons of crock pot videos on her channel. She has everything from like keto crock pot to dump and go meals. She does tons of that kind of stuff. She also does cleaning and just lifestyle related videos. She is a mom of three. She also has two boys and a little girl like I do. And she just had her little girl not that long ago. She is so adorable. Make sure you check out her channel for all of the motivation. Um, I have collabed with her in the past on previous crock pot videos because I just feel like she's also the crock pot queen. So when we come together, you're gonna get 10 amazing crock pot meals. So make sure you check her out. I'll have her video linked in the description box below, but let's get right into cooking, if you can even call it that. Okay, so the first thing we're making is a cheesy chicken and rice. You can easily like alter this recipe if you wanna do it dairy-free. Um, if you want to do it like vegetarian, you can use beans instead of chicken. But for this recipe, you're going to need one cup of long grain brown rice. That's really important. You don't want like the quick rice or anything like that. You want one cup of long grain brown rice. One and a half cups of diced carrots, a shallot, a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, one and a half pounds of boneless skinless chicken breast. And don't worry, I will have this linked in the description box below on my Pinterest page. One and a half teaspoons of garlic powder, one teaspoon of dried thyme, which I'm going to tell you right now, the next time I make this, I would use less thyme. So if you like thyme, go ahead with that one teaspoon. If you don't, do a little less. Um, a half a teaspoon of salt. And, you know, I don't usually measure my salt or pepper, but if you're really wanting to measure, that's the measurements. And one fourth teaspoon of ground black pepper. You're also going to need two and a half to three and a half cups of low sodium chicken broth. I use three and a half cups. Um, you're also going to need one cup of frozen peas, a half cup of non-fat plain Greek yogurt, and then a half cup of freshly grated sharp cheddar cheese. And then as an option, you can top with fresh parsley. So basically, I just cut up all of my produce first. That's always what I do. I just like to prep everything ahead of time. So what I really like about this recipe, besides that it's insanely healthy, is I love all the veggies in it. And you know, the brown rice is healthy, but it's still delicious. So I like to have delicious meals that the whole family will eat, but also I don't want them like lacking flavor and this definitely didn't lack any flavor. Next, I'm just getting all of my spices together. And finally, we're just measuring out our rice and our Dijon mustard, and then we are ready for the crock pot. We are definitely going to need to spray the crock pot. You know, back in the day, I used to use those crock pot bags, but I'm just trying to use less plastic right now and be the healthiest version of myself I can be. I feel like um, one thing about me that I think is a great thing is that I have humility and I don't think that I'm perfect. So if something changes in my lifestyle, I'm happy to share that with you. Um, I used to use the plastic bags and I don't anymore. I just want to acknowledge that if you're using that that's fine I'm just this is just my new health journey that I'm on random but how cute was Ella in the background with her little purse she melts my heart but anyway 
I added my spice mixture right on top of the meat. I like to do that. I see that it gets the most flavor into my meals. And then I'm going to set this on high. And we're going to do an hour and a half. Once that hour and a half is up, we're going to remove our chicken. The point is we really don't want to dry the chicken out, but we want to let this rice cook all the way. So I'm going to do this for an hour. Then we're going to add our chicken back in, and then we're going to add our Greek yogurt, our sweet peas, and then at the very end, our cheddar cheese, and just mix that all together. Now I'm just going to set this to warm and let it sit until everything is nice and melty and then we're going to shred it and enjoy this delicious meal. Um, I think that my favorite meal of all of these crock pot meals is at the very end. Like I'm going to make that one a million times but I also really enjoy this one. Our next recipe is lemon, chicken, and rice. And this recipe sounded so good to me. However, it was good, but it was my least favorite of all five of these recipes. So for this recipe, you're gonna need some olive oil. You're gonna need three to four medium chicken breasts, uh, skinless, boneless, or bone-in chicken thighs. I don't usually like to use bone-in meats just because I'm weird like that. Um, one and a half cup of long grain brown rice, a small onion, three cloves of garlic for being minced, but then you're also going to need six whole cloves of garlic. You're going to need a teaspoon of dried basil, a two teaspoon of dried oregano, and one teaspoon of dried parsley flakes, and then salt and pepper. And this is where what I would change. So the recipe calls for a half teaspoon of lemon zest and one tablespoon of lemon juice. I feel like the recipe could have used a lot more lemon, but I really like lemon in my lemon chicken which kind of makes sense, right? <laughs> You're also gonna need three cups of chicken broth. So first things first, I'm cutting everything up. This little oil bottle is a bottle of thieves. It just helps your eyes not be as sensitive when you're cutting onions. So when you smash your garlic like that, it just makes it so much easier to peel. So that's what we're doing there. Um, peeling up our garlic and we're going to leave six of those whole like I mentioned and then the other three we're going to dice up. And the six that are whole, we're actually going to brown them in a pan with a little bit of olive oil and some butter. Next, we're going to zest our lemon. This is a cheese grater. Yes, I really need to get a good zester because this doesn't work great, but as much as I zest fruit, I just think it's not that important for me to get a legitimate fruit zester, but now I kind of want one. Now me and my blurry self is going to cut the lemon in half and then juice it for that tablespoon of lemon juice that we need. Next I'm just going to salt and pepper my chicken breast and then we're going to cook these you know, on each side for about three to four minutes. We just want them to get nice and brown. This step is a step that I don't like to skip because it really does give the dish so much more flavor and kind of just like locks the moisture in. Um, however, I understand that crock pot meals are usually to be like a quick meal. So 
let me know if you want to see another dump and go crock pot meal because I feel like I haven't done one of those in a while. So I just kind of added the garlic cloves in with a tiny bit of olive oil and then added some butter. You can see how nice and caramelized they are. You actually put those whole into the crock pot so you're going to want to be careful that you're not eating the whole thing of garlic unless you like that because some people do like that. Um, it makes them very very soft and it also gives the dish a lot of flavor but I had to show you how cute Ella is helping me cook in her little frozen slippers. All right, finally time for the crock pot. I forgot to spray the crock pot. This was not a good idea. Make sure you spray your crock pot. This is adding everything in, my onions, my garlic, my rice, my seasonings, and then my lemon juice, and then my chicken broth. I'm gonna give that a little bit of a stir. And then we're just gonna go ahead and add our chicken breast. And we're just gonna go ahead and cook that on high for three hours and here's what I learned from this recipe um, check on your rice if you're at home if you're doing this as a quicker meal like I did the high for three hours check on your rice because it does get very mushy and in the recipe she says that at the two hour mark you can take your rice out uh, but you can see here I got some mush um, but there's also like some good parts but I just wanted to show you be cautious about the rice and also the rice you could totally just like cook separately and then add when you're ready um, but again trying to just make everything in the crock pot it was still good but it was mushy this next recipe is a vegetable quinoa stew you can absolutely make this um, vegan Vegetarian, it's already vegetarian, but you just have to use vegetable broth instead of chicken broth. I like that the ingredients are very good ingredients, but they're also very minimal. You need one medium yellow onion, one large or two small sweet potatoes. I use two. You're going to chop them into smaller pieces so that they cook quicker. Um, two large carrots, also chopped kind of the same size. One bunch of kale, you're going to want to take the stems out. The only thing I would do differently about the kale is next time I would cut it even thinner just to make my kids eat it because they had like big chunks to pull out because they did love this recipe by the way. So this is great for children as well and I think they would actually eat it. But you're also going to need a 15 ounce can of white beans drained and rinsed, two 15 ounce cans of chickpeas also drained and rinsed, and then you're going to use the entire can of a 14 and a half ounce can of fire roasted petite diced tomatoes. So. The fire roasted I feel like is important to give this some flavor. In no way, shape, or form is this recipe spicy, but it does need that flavor. And you're also going to need, I actually did two 32 ounce um, things of low sodium chicken broth. And that's because I like a lot of broth in my um, soups. So this is more like a stew, but I added more broth and I think that you would like it that way too, unless you want like a really hearty, thicker stew. Another thing I want to say about this recipe is add all of the spices. Add every spice you like. If I wasn't making this for my kids to also enjoy, I probably would have added some red pepper flake or some cayenne pepper just to give it like a good taste, but you can totally add those to your own bowl. When I ate mine, I added some turmeric um, just for the benefits of it, and I also like the taste. You could also add cumin. You get what I'm saying, but this is kind of like more so tastes like just vegetables with a little bit of saltiness. Um, so if you want that extra flavor, add extra spices. So we're just chopping everything up and then adding it to the crock pot as we go.
So pretty much you just want to cook this until your vegetables are soft. I'm doing high because I wanted to have this right away. Um, high for four hours. We also ate it for lunch like every day that week. Um, initially I just did one thing of chicken broth and this is how it looks I wanted to show you. Um, and I decided that I wanted more broth with it so I added another box of chicken broth. I don't know why that's so hard for me to say. I keep calling it a thing of chicken broth but a box of chicken broth. Okay, and right before it's finished, I did it about 15 minutes before it was finished. I just went ahead and added my cup of quinoa. You can always do more quinoa if you'd like as well because it was just kind of just gave it like a little bit of quinoa. I did like it like this, but I wouldn't mind more quinoa. Quinoa is actually like one of my favorite things to make and to eat. Um, I like to add it to eggs. You can add it to everything once it's cooked. It's one of those ingredients that people are scared of when they shouldn't be. Some people want to call it quinoa. That's fine. We all got to start somewhere. Okay, so this next recipe is bomb.com. This is seriously one of my all-time favorite recipes that I made, and it's gonna become like a normal meal in our house, like on a daily, it's that good. So if you're gonna choose one, definitely choose this recipe. I changed a lot of things from this recipe, um, but 
I still have the link to the original recipe. I feel like this recipe isn't that much ingredients either, which is really nice. So you're going to need four small boneless chicken breasts or two large chicken breasts. You can cut them if you'd like. I did not. Um, you're also going to need, the recipe calls for fingerling potatoes, um, but I love red potatoes in my crock pot, so I'm going to be using some red potatoes. A half cup of chicken broth, one third cup of heavy cream, two tablespoons of cornstarch, one teaspoon of basil pesto. I love pesto, but even if you don't like pesto, it kind of acts as like a seasoning in this, so don't skip that. Um, some salt, some pepper, a half teaspoon of minced garlic, one cup of a fresh spinach, and then a half cup of roasted red peppers. However, this is what I feel like made the recipe so delicious. I did not use the roasted red peppers. If you like roasted red peppers, go for it. But I feel like what made this recipe so delicious was the sun-dried tomatoes. So I used a half cup of sun-dried tomatoes. Next time to change this recipe, I would just use even more garlic because we love garlic. And I would use even more um, sun-dried tomatoes. So basically you're just going to mix the liquid and the cornstarch in here and you're even going to add the spinach and the sun-dried tomatoes to this to kind of make it like a sauce to pour over your chicken and potatoes. And you're just gonna cook this on high for three hours. Of course, you can do it on low for six hours, but this was so amazing. I know you guys are gonna love this recipe. And last but not least, another favorite recipe. This one is a new um, version of this and I like this one better but this is a sweet potato turkey chili and it is so delicious you're gonna want to have it for lunch the next day it's also a must make recipe so you need one pound of ground turkey a can of kidney beans one uh, medium sweet potato three large carrots one can of diced tomato one can of tomato sauce a half cup of chopped onion a half cup of chopped bell pepper um, jalapeno is optional. I did not do jalapeno. Um, one fourth cup of olive oil, and that's just like for cooking your turkey. And we're also gonna um, saute our onions and peppers before we add them to our chili. So that's what that's for. And then some garlic. You're gonna use two cloves of garlic and two cups of turkey or chicken stock. I use chicken stock because I buy chicken stock in bulk, so I pretty much use that for like everything. You know I'm a really big fan of brown sugar in my chili, but today I am trying cocoa powder in my chili. Granite Hershey's is not the best, um, you know, cocoa powder you should be using. I would definitely buy a better, um, healthier brand next time, but one tablespoon of cocoa powder is going to change your chili and make it delicious. So first thing I'm doing is getting my garlic. I don't know how I ever lived without a garlic press before because it's amazing. You don't even have to peel your garlic, you just stick it in and push it and your garlic comes out. So I absolutely love this kitchen gadget. Also, how big is my knife? I love cutting with this knife. I know people call it like a butcher's knife or a meat cleaver, but I like to use it for cutting everything.
So there is a lot of chopping involved in this. However, this is something you could prep the night before. You could do an ingredient prep. I love doing that. Chop everything the night before and then you have it ready for the next day if you're leaving for work or whatever you need to do. Um, definitely do ingredient prepping. I love doing that. Um, but right now I'm home and I'm just gonna make everything right now. So chopping up takes a bit of time, but like I said, you'll have this for a while. There's, it makes a lot. Um, also, I like to leave the skins on my sweet potatoes. I just feel like it's very healthy and nutritious for you. Um, so yeah, I don't know. You can peel your sweet potatoes if you like, but for this recipe, I'm going to leave the skin on it. Next up, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to brown my um, onion and my garlic and my pepper. And this is an extra step. You don't have to do it, but it just gives it a deeper flavor. So if you do have time to do this, I would do this step. Next, we're just gonna add this to the crock pot and then we're gonna go ahead and brown our turkey. Also, how cute is Chef Carter? He seriously loves cooking with me and I love it too. I hope that he always likes to cook with me and I hope that one day he's gonna be on Chop Junior. Just my hopes and dreams. We're also just adding the rest of the ingredients, including the spices, and then we'll just go ahead and add the turkey as soon as that's browned. And we're just gonna cook this on high for four hours and then it is done. It is so delicious. You can top it with whatever you want. We like to top ours with some cheese, some cilantro. I love cilantro. And we either always have cornbread with our chili or tortilla chips. So I hope that you all enjoyed today's crock pot video. Let me know in the comments below what recipe you plan on making first. And as always, when you guys share me on your stories on Instagram, when you're making my recipes or watching my videos, it just warms my heart. So I love to see that. Um, my Instagram handle is t.beeston. Also, if you're new from Kelly's channel, welcome. I hope to have you stick around and hit that subscribe button. And if you haven't watched Kelly's video yet, 
make sure you go check her out. Let her know that Tiffany sent you. And I hope that you all have an amazing week ahead and just, you know, make these super easy crock pot recipes. I mean, it just makes life so much easier. Nothing feels like I have my life together more than when like the house is somewhat clean or the washer and dryer is going and the crock pot's going. It just makes me feel like I have my life together even though I don't. But anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and have an amazing week. So I'll